In this problem, we have a differential equation, and we are going to solve it. We're going to start by checking to see if it's exact. So this piece here in front of the dx is always your capital M, and this piece here in front of the dy is always your capital N. And so to check to see if a differential equation is exact, you first compute del M del Y. And the way I'm able to memorize that is I just remember it's the other variable. There's an X here, so you put a Y here. When you're computing del M del Y, you treat all of the other variables as constants. In particular, X is a constant. So the derivative of X to the sixth is zero. So we get six Y to the fifth. Over here, we have to compute del N del X. And again, the way I memorize it is there's a y here, so it's the other variable. When you're computing del n, del x, all of the other variables besides x are constants. In particular, y is a constant. So when we take this derivative, well, the derivative of x is 1, so we're left with 6y to the fifth. These are the same, so this differential equation is said to be exact. I always like to remind myself of what it means for a differential equation to be exact. It basically means there exists some function, so I'll even write it. So there exists, the backwards e means exists, a function f such that, so there exists f such that, del f del x dx plus del f del y dy equals zero. And f is the solution to this differential equation. So this piece here in front of the dx is del f del x. And the piece here in front of the dy is del f del y. So to solve the differential equation, we just have to find f. The easiest way to do that would be to just integrate both pieces. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and integrate the first piece here. And since we know it's del f del x, you integrate with respect to x, always. It's really easy to memorize it too because there's a dx here, so you can just tell yourself, oh, okay, integrate with respect to x. So integrating x to the sixth with respect to x, we would use the power rule. So that'll give us x to the seven over seven. Integrating y to the sixth, we just put an x next to it, so x y to the 6. That's because we treat it as a constant. And whenever you integrate with respect to x, you have to add an unknown function of the other variable. So we have to add a g of y. So what we've written down is actually f of x, y. But we don't know the g. So what we do now is we put an equal sign here, and we do the same thing over here with the second piece. Except this time, because we know it's del f del y, in order to retrieve f, we have to integrate with respect to y. So doing that is going to give us, I'll do it over here on the side, 6x y to the 6 over 6, right? Because the x is a constant, and so we end up with x y to the 6 plus, and then we have to add an unknown function of the other variable. So I'll just say h of x. All right, so now we can write the answer down. So both of these are actually f, so I just always read it left to right. So x to the 7 over 7 plus xy to the 6. g of y, we leave that alone. We don't know what it is. And then you look over here on the right. Well, we've already written down xy to the 6, so we don't have to write it down again. Okay, and then you just set it equal to c. Every time, just set it equal to c. So basically, you just read it left to right and set the result equal to C. If something appears more than once, you only write it uh, one time. And again, the reason is that this whole thing here is F. But this is also F. So you might say, okay, well, what's, what's H of X? Well, H of X must be this piece here. And then G of Y must be zero, I guess, because it's not there. So in general, you just read it left to right. And if something appears twice, you, you don't write it again. And the reason you set it equal to C is because uh, originally, the construction of this method, um, the function that we start with always has this form, f of x, y equals C. So 
It's just something that comes from the construction of the, uh, of the method. I hope this video has been helpful.